sniper in the novice championship division and he felt really good um you know again the biggest thing the the most consistent comment with him is going to be uh the connection and coming over his back and connecting to the bed so um i just keep working on trying to push him forward he is a lovely horse where he kind of goes into into the ring and relaxes a little bit um but again, it's one of those things, the stronger he gets, the better he gets. So um, he's putting in a very nice, solid test. We're doing a 20 meter circle. He kind of tripped out behind there. Sometimes this footing has uh, that carpet and they can get a little trippy in it. So now I'm sitting, I'm going to ask for the canter. And he has a lovely canter. His canter can kind of trip me up a little bit because I feel like I'm traveling, but I need to travel more. <laughs> um, so, staying connected, trying to keep his pull up, trying to keep him steady on the bit. You can see he can kind of get a little wiggly. I'm trying to just keep the contact steady and soft for him and then keep my leg so I can have the hind end coming through. And now we're going to do a stretchy trot. He loves to do the stretchy. Uh, he could maybe have his nose out just a little bit. Um, he's trying to just play with the bit some. And then I'm going to pick him back up. And you'll see I have him in a drop noseband. He really doesn't like any other type of cavison currently. So I just try to listen to my horse and ride them in what they're most comfortable in. Um, I mean, if I could ride them bitless, I absolutely would. But unfortunately in dressage, we have to ride them in a bit. Um, so working on my 20 meter circle to the right. Trying to keep him nice and steady, keep the impulsion from behind. He can make quite a lovely picture, and he's very rhythmical, so he can score very nice and solid, consistent scores. Sitting to pick up our canter, does a lovely transition. And again, I have to just worry about keeping him straight through the shoulders, keeping the hind end coming through, and then allowing for my contact to flow from my elbow down to the bit. And I'm sitting because I have to push him into the corner because then I'll have a walk transition. And again, he tripped a little bit on me there. And he did a little funny thing here. He was going behind the vertical, which he hasn't done. So you see I'm trying to like bump him off of it a little bit. Um, but I think he was just kind of excited to do the free walk. <laughs> He really is a fun horse, and he's been a super fun horse to develop. Um, he has a very um, interesting, funny personality. Um, but he is very much the professional in the dressage ring, for sure. Um, now I'm working into my collected walk, or working walk. Pick up the trot at A. And now we cut across the diagonal, do this little half diagonal. Um straight down the center line. Sometimes it can be a little harder, I think, for the younger horses because they get a little wiggly. Then we work on our halt. We're still working on those. But he scored a great test. Uh, ended up being second. Now moving on to the cross country. He was a bit sassy uh, for cross country. Um, I'm pretty. He was pretty darn excited in the warm-up and um, really really spicy kind of coming out of the start box so um he was being really kind of tense and wanting to kind of just gallop and again this is heading towards the barns um he can be quite the opinionated fellow uh, but he's i love this guy he's super special and um coming up the hill here he's just being a little leaning on me so i'm gonna make him sit and rock back a little bit making him wait, not allowing him to kind of take the bit. And he just has so much jump. He's a super talented horse. Um, so again, you're going to see him drift because he, <laughs> he just cracks. <laughs> this is this was a funny cross-country round for a uh, sniper. I come to this uh, table and I saw the distance pretty long. And uh, holy moly, he jumped that huge. Um, and now we come to a combination that has a little bit of terrain and um, again, I sent him back to keep his balance. 
He reads the question really nicely. Very, very good. Jumps it great. Um, I should probably let him canter on a little bit more, but I feel like he was just leaning on me. Um, so now I have him in a decent balance. I'm pretty happy with this canter and the feeling that he's giving me. And now we're coming to a tricaner type fence. Um, and again, he's super brave as well. Doesn't really look at too much. Um, pings that great. Now I'm coming up to another house type. And I'm just letting him coast here. Again, his canter is deceiving for me. It's kind of hard for me to figure out the pace on him of what's too slow or what's too quick. But now I'm working on getting him to go forward. And coming to this um, coop at the water is fairly spooky. And sure enough, he comes and he hes <laughs> hesitates. And then I make sure I keep my leg. And he jumped right over it. I was very proud of him. He was, he was pretty honest there for me. Um, and then jumped out great. Head to the split rail, Oxer. And I'm just going to let him coast on down to it so he just pings right over the top. And as of right now, I'm pretty up on my clock um, because I had let him kind of go along even though I was fiddling with his balance. And then here I come to another table. Jumps out really well. And again, he was just being a funny little dude. He wanted to, um, he was just telling me, he's like, hey, the barn's back the other way. Um, <laughs> but very honest to the jumps. I think he was excited because the novice championship jump numbers were blue. So <laughs> normally those are the advanced colors. Not yet, buddy. So now I've checked my watch and I'm slowed him way down. And this is the mistake on my part as I slowed him down too much. So then you'll see that I start allowing him to kind of gallop on and he actually starts to settle down a little bit better. But I'm still having to work on keeping the balance up. So you saw I gave him a good little bump there so I can make sure I have him collected and he can think about the coffin. Jumped right over it, pinged on the out. And then we're going to canter on down. We have another coop. Jump that one right out of stride. And now I know I'm a little bit behind on my clock, so I've kind of let him kind of canter on a little bit. And he has a great stride. And then here he has to figure out his legs a little bit. Wasn't the best distance, but... And now he's happy, I guess, because I let him gallop on. But come to the last fence... It was a good educational round. We had a couple of time faults, but overall I was really happy with his performance. He's a super, super horse. And as you see, I was having a hard time pulling him up. He was pretty excited about that. So had some fun out there. So unfortunately, those time faults on cross country moved us from second to fifth. Um, and as we went into the show jump, I was actually pretty, I love coming to the show jump. He is such a lovely jumper. Pings really big over the first fence. He was being a little distracted actually in this arena, even though he's been in here before, but you know, they all have their days. And this course was very um, much rollbacks and turns. So see, I balanced him up for the vertical help him fix his lead, keep him coming through the turn because now we have a uh, oxer. Jumps that nicely. Balanced again because now I have to do a roll back to a combination. And again, I have to make sure that I have him quite balanced so he doesn't eat up the striding in the uh, combination. Jumps that lovely, then walks down this in the six stride. Make sure my shoulders are back so he can bring his shoulders out of the way. 
jumping the um, Chat Hills planks. And then we come along to the last combination. And then now we just have one vertical left. Balance him through the turn. Keep my right leg. You saw he drifted just a little. Super happy with him. Jumped a clean round. We ended up fifth. Really happy with him in the Novice Championships. Super proud of the sniper.